Well, folks, I've had a rough week. And no, not because of all the humidity is making my beard frizz out, because I am done dealing with idiots, schmorons, dum-dums, and all-around bajiga loops. So you know what that means. That means it's time to have some Caribbean food. J.R. Warnett here with another Red Beard Food Reviews. And boy, have I got a treat for you. Well, it's actually a treat for me, but you can watch and, and kind of drool. And if you're really, really hungry at the end, you can go get some Caribbean food for yourself. One thing this blasted virus has taken away from all of us is the ability to travel, which is something that a lot of people do to get away from the problems. A lot of people travel to find themselves. I certainly, certainly have done those things in the past. And with this coronavirus on hand, a lot of people can't go on cruises, which I'd love me some cruising. So today we're at the Cabana trailer per se, and we're gonna try a little Caribbean food. The name of this place is called Spice It Up Grill, and it is a little mobile food truck slash trailer on the corner of Lanes Mills and Route 88 in Bricktown. Today's special. Today we have an animal not many people have eaten before. I'm talking about curry goat, people. What's that, JR? What is curry goat? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's curry, it's a green curry, and it has chunks of goat in it. If you're not hip to goat, you should be, because you are missing out on that bus altogether. Let's check in with a little styrofoam container and see what it looks like, shall we? Hello, Mr. Grumpy Goat. Are you in there? Bam! Hashtag money shot. There it is. There's the curry goat. Now this is a large meal from Spice It Up Grill. So it comes with a little bit of cabbage. Comes with the actual curry goat itself, which I wish you had smell-o-vision because this, this the bomb diggity. Comes with some plantains and it comes on a nice bed of rice and beans. You're getting a lot of food for your meal. Uh, they have two options. You can do either the small or the large, depending on the protein that you get with it. Uh, the meals start off at $12, and for a specialty item like curry goat or whole fried snapper or oxtails, they have a little bit of an upcharge. If you're picking this thing up and you're you're holding this, you better do you better do some push-ups before and after because this is a lot of food. The smell is amazing. I'm smelling things like bay leaf, I'm smelling things like cinnamon, uh, I'm actually getting a little bit of uh, cardamom maybe, and it's definitely curry because it's obviously curry goat. You don't really smell too much of the cabbage because the cabbage itself is just like a fiber or filler, uh, but the potatoes and carrots, it smells like stew, and it's... I'm going to stop talking about the smell, and now I'm going to talk about the flavor and the taste. The first picture of curry goat. Let me tell you how it tastes. Mm. Time out. Got a piece of bone. Now I've had a curry or two in my day. But the flavor from this is just really good. On point. Uh, it's not too overpowering too because some curries can get like out there. You can go crazy with the curry. But you will see that the the oil from the the residue from the goat and all the other juices that come with it it's just it's just like a little a little jacuzzi on the side of the styrofoam here oh, oh second bite got some of them carrots which have been and probably slowly marinated slowly cooked for such a long time they just melt in your mouth slow and low baby that's how you win a lot of races in life have a little bit of the curry goat and potato together hmm delicate is a good word too it's not overpowering I don't know if you ever had goat before but goat would be considered a gamey animal it must be because they're banging their head against each other all day right right the jokes get better just relax you can see the goat is it's got the bone in it it's got the bone on it so they probably chop it up put it all together with the the curry paste, the potatoes, the carrots. I'm um, getting a little bit of spices on the side here too. Like I said, a little bit of bay leaf. I can see the stem from the bay leaf. It's good, baby, it's good. 
and get a little bit of that marrow from the goat. Kind of almost like the same thing like lamb chops. Like you, if you ever have lamb chops, you get that marrow in the middle. That's like the best part. That's like, put that on some toast. Have that with maybe some sweet breads if you're feeling adventurous. It's like a little meat whistle. Look at that. Mm. Oh, that's good. I don't even care how I don't even care how yellow my beard gets. That is just worth it. Mm. Plantains going in. Good plantain, typical plantain, mushy because it's been in with the curry goat and it's in this little styrofoam container, so it's a little steamed. But I don't even mind it like that. Usually I like plantains a little crunchy, right out the fryer crunchy. That's good. Rice and beans, it's a staple in a lot of Caribbean food and a lot of South American food as well, Mexico. Different variations all around the world, but they all have one overall outcome. They taste friggin' great. It's not too moist or mushy. Mm. Boy, that's gonna fill me up. I'm glad I ain't got nothing to do today. Cabbage, baby. Mm. Got a little bit of that carrot. Got those uh, flavorings, seasonings with it. I'm getting a little bit of, not really fennel, but kind of like caraway seed too. I'm sure there's caraway seeds in here. Oh, oh, get some more of that curry goat. Good pepper, really good flavor. I've had curry chicken from the Spice It Up Grill. I've had stew chicken, or this. This is really good. I don't think I've ever. Ha I've never had the curry goat. I think I've had the oxtails one time. Can you tell I like to eat at a lot of different places? Really fresh and just tender. It's just. You know, had I no teeth in my mouth, you could still eat it because it's just that tender. It just falls apart. Mm. Hold on. We're doing okay on the debris front. Even though the curry sauce is green and yellow, you can't really see it through the red beard. So that's a benefit. So even if it's in there, you're not gonna see it. I'm gonna let it touch the beard today. I don't care how long it takes me to eat this meal. It's really, really good today. Super delicious. That fat just melts. It's, you know, it melts right into it and it produces that oil that you have like on the side in your little styrofoam container. Mm, and that's, all I need is a piece of cocoa bread to, to suck this up or even a roti. They didn't have any rotis or cocoa bread today, I asked. But usually when they have a roti, a nice Jamaican beef patty, or uh, a nice piece of cocoa bread fresh out of the oven. As they say. Oh! And to wash it all down, I got a Jamaican ginger beer for the ginger beard. Please don't unsubscribe. The jokes get a lot better. Especially the more I eat. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good too. I never had this. DG Jamaican ginger beer. It says soft drink on it. There's no tea. It's soft drink. That's a sign of quality right there. And it got a little kitty cat on the label. Kind of looks like my Sophia. That's my cat, if I haven't introduced her on the channel yet. You may have seen her scurry past in one of the other videos. She's kind of skittish. I think it's time we wrap up this here meal and review of Spice It Up Grill. You're gonna have to give me a minute. I have a case of the vapors. And I'm not even on the Golden Girls and I got a case of the vapors. What the hell's going on with that? Overall, the food is extremely good at Spice It Up Grill. They have, I would say about four or five different entree choices on the menu any given day. Uh, like I said before, they have stewed chicken, curry chicken, oxtails, whole fried red snapper, which I have yet to choose, but I will be getting one of them snappers soon. And of course the curry goat, which I saw today on the social media feed and I had to just, I dropped everything. I was in the middle of doing laundry. I'm like, screw this detergent. I'm gonna get curry goat. Overall value for the money, very good. Like I said before, you get this whole big, this container of food that's packed to the top. 
for $20. And that's curry goat, which is a specialty item. The sides they have to choose, baked mac and cheese or rice and beans. And it usually comes with a couple pieces of plantain and cabbage. Overall vibe of the food truck. It's a small food truck. Usually only one or two people there operating it. Family owned. You can hear the generator out back. You can see the smoker cooking the delicious chicken and the food right there. So the overall vibe is pretty good too. And the last category is, of course, taste and flavor. I don't know if you've seen my eyes be bopping back and forth, but that should tell you all you need to know about the taste and flavor. Supreme taste, really good flavor. Not too spicy too, but curry itself, it kind of has like a lingering flavor. It stays with, with, with you for a little bit, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I'm going to have to give it 5 out of 5 red beards. Yes, the full Monty of red beards has been distributed. 5. So if you like Caribbean food, if you like a little bit of spice in your life, I suggest you go to Spice It Up Grill. They're on Lanes Mills Road in Brick, right down. You take a left off of Route 88 if you're on Route 88. You're going to have the ocean lanes in front of you. Take a left at that light. You're going to be down about less than a quarter mile on your left. That about does it for another Red Beard food review. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. You can find me on the Twitter. You can find me on the Face Space. You can find me on the YouTube. But where you're going to find me for the rest of today is polishing off this bucket. Oh, goodness. I'm Redbeard, J.R. Warnett, with Redbeard Food Reviews. I will see you the next time I open my mouth to eat. Bye. <laughs>